what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment. This video was recorded right after the first one, so it's kind of a bulk recording day for me. Uh, I don't have time during the week since I work. And so I look at the computer so much at work that I don't want to do anything after work. So, uh, weekends, I try to get stuff done. So yeah, if you guys are enjoying it, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, let me know by hitting the subscribe button and like button. We're going to hop right in. Wow, I can't even talk. We're going to hop right back into it. Uh, let's go. All right, so in the last episode, uh, we investigated. Uh, um, 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 what is his name? Peter Casey. And we figured out that someone was trying to break into the door. Uh, there's a lock on it. So we're gonna set up an ambush. We need to find a good place for an ambush. Perhaps behind Carrie's cabin near the window. Uh, but first, let me let me speak to the wife real quick. Um, see if she has anything else to say. Okay, yeah. So was he Is smoking? This your husband's tobacco pouch. I'm not sure. It might be. But he hadn't smoked in a very long time. Mm, he was sparking up in there. Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? There was a small tin box, barely larger than a book. He kept his papers there. It should be somewhere in his cabin. Thank you, madam. All right. So we were right about the box. Um... So is this where we're, okay there we go this looks like the perfect hiding place Did you hear that? There's someone there. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. Police! Uh, snap. Hold it right there. Oh, he put a pistol out on him. All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. Uh, you imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. You I assure blood you, blood on your I'm hands, innocent. young man. Innocence? And what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey. But we were here waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... Do you deny that you came here yesterday? No, but... but I... yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't! I'm not... it's a terrible mistake! Enough! You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. But... In light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. Hey. Got him. Uh, let's see. Tab. Uh, so I can go to the, the place right away. Uh, anything new? Okay, so I'll go. I don't need to go home yet. I'll go to the yard. Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes?
Good morning, Mr. Holmes. Can I help you? Good morning, Constable. I would like to speak to the fellow who was arrested at Woodman's Lee last night. Ah, oh, the young man. He's waiting in the interrogation room. You can go straight through. His belongings are held in the evidence room. Thank you. All right, so uh, evidence room first. Uh, always the evidence first. Mr. Holmes? Because then you can... Uh, this evidence room? Because evidence room will bring up uh, certain questions, I believe. These are the suspect's belongings. A handkerchief with the initials J.H.M. A pocket knife. Pocket knife. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. Let's see. Um, let's see. From R. Dawson. So from R. Dawson to my friend and partner, 1883. And partner, 1883. Wait, do I have to click on it? From R. Dawson. To my friend, Dawson. I've seen this name before. Perhaps my archive holds the answer. Okay. Uh, the book that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. Let's see. These abbreviations mean something. But what? All right, so R. Dawson, evidence required. Um, so dialogue, search archives, a heavy gold ring with the inscription from R. Dawson to my friend and partner. Okay, so uh, with that, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back to uh, Baker Street, uh, my home. Because uh, if he says um, to check the archives, I'm going to check that first before investigating uh, the, the boy. Okay, so archives. Search for Dawson. Um. Okay, Dawson and Dawson and Nelligan are bankrupt. Here we go. Okay, so the so Dawson and Nelligan investment fund bankrupt. Nelligan missing. The Dawson and Nelligan investment fund, a regional banking institution based in Cornwall, has declared bankruptcy as a result of heavy losses in its loan portfolio, and has accordingly been assigned for liquidation. It was the 23rd largest bank in Britain, and its bankruptcy was the second largest on record. The liquidation of company is a pure, cat wow, a pure catastrophe for many Cornwall families. Joshua Nelligan, one of the bankers, has since mysteriously disappeared. He was last seen aboard his yacht preparing for departure to Norway. Nelligan is wanted both by the police and his creditors. Here it is. Now I begin to understand that young man's story, but I am still unclear as to what connects him with the murder. It is time to ask him. Uh, all right. Documents. Okay, so uh, let's head back to the Scotland Yard. Lestrade's place. Um, okay, the morgue. Is he down? Oh, so they didn't bring his body in yet? I thought they would have at least brought his body in.
Mr. Holmes. All right. Alright, let's talk to him. Alright, so we're gonna do this thingy first. Uh, Alright. Patch. Expensive fabric. Button. All right. I don't know if there's like a time limit because it sounded like there was like a, a, a clock ticking. So I didn't want to like take my time to see what everything says. Uh, but I think, okay, so I can do it. I can look here. So shabby cap, thin neck patch, expensive fabric, elaborate button, short sleeve, callus, scar. So he works because of calluses. He works with his hands. Scars may be from working, but he has a shabby hat but an exp expensive clothes or I guess it, maybe this was like his dad's um, shirt and he patched it up. I have heard the story of Dawson and Nelligan, the West Country bankers. Yes, Joshua Nelligan was my father. I am aware that it had a bad ending when the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall, whereupon Joshua Nelligan disappeared. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. My father was convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway in his small yacht just a few days before an arrest warrant was issued. He left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believe that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on board. Thank you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. All right. Uh, notebook. Does this notebook belong to you? Yes. But where did you find it? I did not know... I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. What do these abbreviations mean? Oh, no. I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only make things worse. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Nelligan. Ooh. The sea knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, did Mr. Carey try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. Hmm. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. Uh, uh it always belongs to me. Profiles of victim, rings, engravement, sharp. Um. Nelian is approximately 19 years old. He was raised in wealth, but after the des desertion of his father 10 years ago, he and his family fell into poverty. He worked, to, he worked to earn money by cleaning fish. Despite undertaking such manual work for a considerable time, Nelligan remains physically weak. Um, all right, so... Uh, I'm going to say, see, I'm going to say the father's jacket. Uh, profile of the victim. Nope. No. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? 
I didn't steal it from anyone. It, it has always belonged to me. The ring's date of engraving is go many with years ago. Obvious. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. What? I, I, I don't know what he wants me to say. Because that's wrong. To, okay. Um... No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but, but, but how do you know? So it was my the first choice. The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else. Most probably, your father. With your father gone and taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy you had to find yourself a manual job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working. I can tell from the scars. I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. Mm -mm -mm. Interesting. Joshua Nelligan and Peter Carey were both at sea in Norway. There is definitely some connection between Peter Carey and Joshua Nelligan's disappearance. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Uh, examine the ship's logs. Actually, is the uh, is wife up here? She got something new to say? She has some light on anything? Who could do such a no? thing? My poor husband. Try not going to her house. Okay. All right. So, gotta find the shipping 1883. logs. 83 That's the one I need. This is the crew list of the Sea Unicorn. Okay. So the crew list. Peter Carey. Um, let's see anything, anything. Log notes for June. Nothing unusual. Log notes for July. Nothing special. Nothing special. Log notes for August. These pages have been torn away. All right, Tuesday, August 2nd, rather squally wind through the day and night. So latitude and longitude, those numbers. Saturday, August 6th, squally wind from northeast. Helmsman suspects incoming storm. Log notes for August. These pages. Canadian Pacific Railway, CPR. A torn piece from a bond certificate. I have seen this abbreviation oh. somewhere very recently. There are three ways of discovering what happened in August of 1883 aboard the Sea Unicorn. The first two of these will require speaking with a dead man. The last would be to locate vital witnesses, the sailors involved in this whale hunt campaign. Awesome. Hold on, wait, wait, hold on, wait a minute. I wonder. CPR right there. Uh, examine the ship logs complete. Okay, so the body's not here. That should do. All right. Took a harpoon. Is there anything here that I miss? I feel like I 
feel like there has to be something here. Because normally it would have, um, if you look at the other things I've looked at, it's blue. I mean, it, I don't know my color, it's green. So I've already examined all that I can examine there. But this here, Dundee. Oh, right here. Hammerfest. It's a whaling map. There we go. I feel like I needed to get that out the way. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialists. And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little urchins than from a dozen yard detectives. Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything, and they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. How will you do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. All right, so this is pushing on to about 30 minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I mean, it, it a lot of deductions, and you gotta think about what you're, uh, what you're seeing and putting things together, and it's it's stimulating the brain. I'll just say that. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know down in the comment section what you think about the game so far. And until next time, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.